So for this group project, we're tasked with building an educational tool. So this is our robot in a box system. It's designed for students in sort of sixth form so that they can get a grasp of robotics. So in this device, we have uh, a full network so you can program everything through a separate website. That then goes on to a ground vehicle and a drone, which are flown independently within the system. So because of some of the current issues that robotic systems have in schools, such as batteries and not having the correct floor to run the rovers on, we were asked to design a new system that would address some of these issues. So our system incorporated a tether to power the robots instead of batteries, and it also integrates a new floor that allows for extra grip for the rovers. So the actual system itself was uh, it was sort of developed using a systems engineering approach which is something that's really taught in this department. We analysed various different solutions that were currently on the market, sort of looking at price points, the benefit to the students as well as the uh, safety which was obviously the most important factor within this design. We also held a meeting with a local school teacher at the King Edward School who gave us some insight into what students wanted and some of the key requirements we'd need to meet for the project. So an enclosure was a natural solution because we wanted something which was a physical barrier which would completely protect the students and then the safety design behind that was again relatively intuitive, having a locking system which was independent of the rest of the network. We chose an omnidirectional ground vehicle as this shows an up and coming area in industry uh, such as in the AMRC and drones are a very up and coming area as well in various areas of robotics. So one of the key risks with a project like this is integrating all of the subsystems together at the end. So I was designated as the integration lead, which meant that I had less involvement in each of the individual subsystems, but when it came to place them all together, I was in charge of that. So that was a lot of programming using uh, ROS, which stands for Robot Operating System, which is widely used in industry. My personal area of, uh, of work was with the CAD design, so I was working on the design and manufacture of the enclosure itself, looking at physical manufacture, so using our makerspace, the iForge, to laser cut out parts, drill parts out. We used Arduino programming, we used Raspberry Pis, sort of interfacing all of that with the network, and also integrating that with a custom design website, so it really encompassed a lot of areas of engineering.